How far down does that go? Oh, uh-oh. Uh, Houston? Oh no, <laughs> we just killed ourselves. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do our finishing touches here in uh, the common room. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just carving out a border along the wall where we're going to have all of our heads. And uh, I'm going to line that with... Whoops. Um, man, I love the undo in this game. <laughs> it's just so useful. Uh, I'm going to line, uh, line that with... Glowing blocks. Uh, Alright, why is that doing that? Maybe because it's just the... end of the thing, I guess? I don't know. It did, didn't do that over here. Uh... That doesn't take anything away. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, anyway, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come along here and we're going to fill this in with glow blocks. All right, cool. Now, um, let's go... Uh, let's see. Tab, put that away. Um, let's go grab our sickle, or I mean our fell wisp wyvern head that we got yesterday. And we need to turn that into a wall mount. Let's see here. Okay. Um, shouldn't we be able to do the next level of this? Because I've already made the first head. That's just the level one. Huh. I mean, we made one here, so it should be giving us the next level, right? Maybe? I don't know. That seems odd. What the hell's going on here, man? Wall decorations. That's the only Wisp Wyvern option it's giving me. Oh, never mind. Oh, we need three heads. Oh, right. Gotcha. I forgot about that part. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. We're just going to do this one. Uh, but I do need to make some nails. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you had to have multiple heads to uh, do the next level there. So we'll just go with this one. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal to me anyway. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I think the Wisp Wyvern head... Is it the largest? Well, maybe Big Hair is the largest. I don't know. Let's see. That's pretty damn big, though. Yeah, that's big. Okay, let's put this right in the center. Can we snap it? Yeah. Look at that dude. All right, we'll put Big Hair back here. Oh, yeah, Wisp Wyvern is actually quite a bit bigger than Big Hair. And then, uh, Bell Monstrosity can go there. In between these guys, I think. Here, let's grab Sickle Scythe again. I want Sickle Scythe to be here. Gonna have to take Snapping off to center it a little bit better. And we'll do Thunder Brute right about there. And then we've got Matron up there. Okay, so that gives us all of our heads. It's Even with the glow blocks, though, it still seems kind of dark, especially in this corner. So why don't we see if we can lighten this up a little bit. 
with some illumination. Uh, I don't have luminous goo, so we're not going to use those. I think we'll just use the wall torches again, because we, we also learned a couple episodes ago that these are also bright. Um, let's make two. One. And we'll put, put one there and one there. And we probably should make two more or in between those gaps. And that should do the trick, I think. There, that lightens things up quite a bit better. Uh, looks like I have a minor issue down here. We want palm wood and uh, need to get that down inside of there. I have to pick this back up for a second. There we go. Okay, looking good, man. Looking good in here. Alrighty then. So that concludes all of the building that I'm planning on doing in this series. So our build was, you know, it's a fairly modest build by way of comparison, but. I enjoyed it though. I thought I had fun with it, and I think it turned out pretty good, uh, all things considered. So we're going to now finish up any outstanding quests that we have, um, and also let's well here let's figure that out first. So we actually we only have two quests. Um, let's do underground infestation first because that's also going to be close to the gold chest that we check on a regular basis for loot and then after that we'll do the final quest which is down south and we also have a sun temple down there to do as well all right so we have uh we have a decent amount of food how's our arrow situation 306 we'll make a few more We'll do, we'll do 400-ish, which is what I usually like to take with me. All right, so we have um, one hour and 19 minutes of rested buff, which is fan freaking tastic. Okay, so let's go all the way to here. We'll check the uh, gold chest and then do the quest in the nearby town. Ignited bow. Probably not going to be as good as our legendary. So we'll turn that into two runes. All right. So what we're going to do from here now is we're going to run down to the village. Um, let's go, where are we at? Yeah, to East Lapis and Underground Infestation is where we're going, right? Yeah, okay. So I'll see you guys down there. It's not too far of a run. Okay, so the quest marker is leading us this way. I didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that, um, these guys fought with the bugs. Apparently they do. Kill all these guys.
Thought I heard some more bugs spawn in, but I'm not sure where they did. He did. Okay. I uh, just realized too that I forgot to take my frickin' uh, buff food. So we should do that. Take one of those. One of those. One of those. And one of those. Range damage bonus. Okay. So, looks like... Damn, bugs are all over the place. Oh! <laughs> I just heard the sizzle. Oh! I guess this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> Damn. Um, Alright, what's that? Search. Dreadbane. Okay, that's uh, that was it. Okay. We just landed right on top of it. And of course, we're not interested in that. As an actual weapon. Now, how do we get out of here? Uh, through here? Oh! Get out of here. Do I have a... I was going to say, I was looking for a, a hook, you know, grappling hook, loop thing, thingamadoodle. Alright, so that takes care of that quest. And I don't think we need to hang out here any longer. Uh, what I am going to do is go back up here, though, just momentarily, because we have a a workbench there to repair our stuff. And then we'll hit the spire and head down south to here. Oh, actually, we could just go to this altar here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll be faster. Twill be faster. this way. Alright, so I think we're going to be doing both of these things, or at least that part in the shroud. So, uh, whoa. So let's take one of these. One of these. One of these. And we should be good. Hopefully we're not flying down into the red muckety-muck. Alright, 180 meters this way. No, oh, maybe this isn't in the... In the muckety muck. Let's 
scout the scavenger camp is what it wants us to do. Where'd you go? Oh, he's right there. We finished the quest? What did I, how did I finish that quest? <laughs> I don't know what I did. It just said to scout the, the camp. Okay. Well, let's, let's do it. That seems weird though. I mean, all I did was kill a couple guys. Hmm. Okay. Got some arrows. We'll take those. There's some lapis there. Some muckety muck. I heard the flapping of wings. Let's see if we can get a sneaky sneak. He did. Uh, not really saying anything here. A dude. Huh. Nothing in here. I hear combat music, but I don't see anybody. Oh, there we go. It's a dangerous place to be standing. So then there was just the bridge that came across this way. With some traps. What killed that thing? Oh, you did. I'm still not sure exactly what I'm looking for. Or if I've already found it. I mean, apparently I have because the quest is done, but it just still seems a little bit odd. I missed, obviously I missed something. <laughs> so what else is do, right? Oh, well. What are you doing, man? You have a way to get up here? Here we go. 
Sun hammer. That's probably what we were after. I just don't know why it didn't, why it finished the quest before I actually, you know, obtained it. That's just the weird part. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Or maybe I'm losing my mind. That's possible too. Very possible. Set that off. Another silver chest with a crackling wand. All right. Salvage, salvage. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to delete. <laughs> I was gonna consume it. Oh well. Um, yeah. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. A oh, greenie. Guys are bastards, man. Level 25 acid cleaver. It's only worth 35 runes, though. Okay, so our final goal here is to do this sun temple. There isn't a quest for it. Um, and I guess this is all just shroud down in there. Yeah, maybe not. Let's, uh, before we go to the Sun Temple, let's at least kind of... Here, I'll tell you what. Let's go back here. And we'll pop into that, you know, Fog of War area just to kind of see if there's anything there. Like, there could be another well there, maybe, or something that we've missed. Definitely something here. Oh shit! I saw that red stuff and I thought I was falling into red muckety muck. There's lots of bugs down there. Lots of bugs. Yeah. So this is obviously another mine of some sort. With a silver chest and a shepherd's staff. And a metric buttload of bugs down there. Looks like there's iron down there too. Yeah, there's a big iron deposit down there. Okay. Well, we don't need iron, so. Um, and it's, it's just an unmarked, you know, minor place. Okay, this gets up out of the shroud. Jeez, hit the guy. There's still quite a bit of territory here. We've already done that elixir well. Wait, have we? Didn't it just have a... Yeah, it, it had a one of the yellow diamonds on it like this here, but when you move your cursor over it, it goes away again. So that's just another little shrouded area down there. Um, what are, what are these holes here? I'm curious. 
curious. Uh, let's go look at the bigger one. Oh, shit. How far down does that go? Oh, uh oh. Uh, Houston? Oh no, <laughs> we just killed ourselves. Jesus, how far down does this go? my god okay if you guys come across these holes do not jump inside of them <laughs> damn wow okay um i don't think we had anything mega significant in our inventory so i not too concerned about Oh, shit. About retrieving. But yeah, this, uh, this area here, uh, is like death incarnate. Jeez. That is like so deep and it's deadly shroud too. I wonder if, I wonder if that area will open up in, in future expansions. Because, you know, we're maxed out on our flame level. Crazy. Okay. Let's not do that again. Uh, let's go this direction. And we need to rebuff here. Oh. Wrong toolbar. Both have to come at the same time. All right. Yeah, that is that is just like nuts, man. Okay, let's head west. I also need to take you. Here we go. On to the Sun Temple. And we will avoid big, deep, dark holes in the ground. I mean, I figured we it, it would just be a little deeper down place that we can land and, you know, go exploring, but that was not the case there. No Sir Rebob. Got a huge uh, vertebrae here. So this is just more Kindle waste that we're uncovering. I figured this was all shroud, but I guess I don't know why I figured that. Lots of dragons, wyverns, vultures. What are those things? I don't even know. Doesn't the game refer to them as vultures? They look kind of more like wyverns to me, though. Anything significant over here? Hey, cut that out. He 
Yeah, there's there's one thing you know that I've mentioned before, and I know other people have too. Is I wish they would name the monsters in this game so you knew what they were called. Most other games do that, so I'm not sure why they don't do that in this game. Uh, or you know, or have a bestiary or something like that. Seeing anything here? Spiders. We haven't seen spiders in a while. Not even anything down here. Unless, well, wait a minute. Did I miss like a hidden wall or something? No, I don't think so. Cute little house at one time. No lockpicks. Probably make a couple. Is there something behind here? Nope. take to break this door. We're going to find out. I know I can make lockpicks. Well, I think I can. Can I make lockpicks? I can't. We lost all our scrap metal when we died. Dude, stop the theatrics and just break the damn door. All right, you know what? This is a waste of time. Especially when we can just come out here and probably find a way to get up there from out here. Well, almost. Okay, is there even a reason to go up there? don't think so. So let's just not do it. Let's just not do it. Anyway, um, continuing onward to the Sun Temple. It is here. Oh, this is kind of neat. I like the big long uh, walkway into the temple. Very cool. Oh, yeah. This kind of reminds me of Petra. A little bit. You know, that city that's built into the cliffside in Jerusalem or somewhere in the Middle East or Near East. lockpicks to get in here. Wow, this place is quite a bit more extensive than the other sun temples I've seen. Okay, we got 
three. Oh, I bet you we got to go inside of the side rooms to do the buttons for that. And trust Titan. All right, can I put one of these down? There we go. Let's go home, repair, sleep. We'll come back here. Uh, and I'm going to make some lockpicks too while we're there. Okay, we are back at the Sun Temple the next morning. Made ourselves 10 lockpicks. And uh, repaired, slept, all that kind of stuff. Put stuff away. So let's go back into here first. to go back there. All right, we got uh, skelly guys in here. This room itself needs four buttons. Well, there's one right there. Can we hit that? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Can we hit that with our wand? Yep. Okay, we got one of them. Uh. Oh, shit. I need to I need to see what the hell's going on here. So it looks like that's um on a timer. There we go. Alright, so we got that one. This one is just one I guess we shoot from back here. And then this one, we shoot from. Oh, we got, I see. There we go. Interesting how they did that. I like it. It's a little different. I mean, we that's not the first time we've seen shoot through the hole, but we haven't seen a lot of that. All right, that's our first button. For the main building. Let's move on to the next one. Can you pick pictures up? Can you break them and take them? This is interesting. Whoops. Um. Wow. Now let me just run down here for a minute. Ah, okay. I think I... Okay, I think I know what it wants us to do. We just need to step on the right buttons. And it's probably based upon the ceiling. Uh, one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha! Look at that! All right, cool. And button number two.
I like this. This is fun. Did that close the door again? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, how do we get up there? Through here? I guess maybe they wanted us to climb up that way or something. Not sure. Oh shit. Really? It was that easy? Okay. That was almost insultingly easy. What's going on over here? Okay. Um... We're supposed to climb up this. There we go. Some in interesting uh, parkour there. All right, why are we up here? What was the point? chest. That's why. Okay. Fair enough. Oh. Nice. Eagle Eye Helmet. Uh, 50% range critical strike, 13% critical strike damage. Is this a rogue helmet? Let's go here, character, and here. This one has better physical and magical resist. Critical strike. Yeah, uh... Okay, so this one has 13 critical, 15 ranged critical. This is the opposite. It's got 15 ranged critical and 13 critical. No. Wait, what? They're both the same. They just reversed the description. <laughs> okay, well, this is definitely the better helmet. Um, doesn't completely fit with their outfit, but it's not terrible either. It looks pretty neat. Okay, well, I guess uh, I was kind of expecting that we'd have, you know, a big dungeon crawl in the main building after we got the door open, but I guess we don't. I guess that's it. Desert Temple Block. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. And we have uh, deserted. Sand fills my throat. My lungs grow heavy with dust. The storm still rages outside, whipping drifts to dunes and dunes to dust, devils. Oh, how I yearn to feel the cold again. The sapphire coast, the windswept waves glistening in the sun. Children sharing sun-seared yucca in silk hammocks. Torturous memories too bright to hold close. My throat aches. Why did the ancients forsake us after all? All right, bummer. I love these sun temples, man. I think they're awesome. Got a little flame thingy there, too. Uh, looks like there's something on the roof over there, but... I mean, there definitely is something over there. I'm just trying to figure out how we would get over there. What 
what's down here. Just the stairs that we took to get up there. This is the same thing just on the other side, I gather. Yeah. Alright, um... I don't see a way to get all the way up there. Because if you could, you could potentially glide over there. Um, or if you had updraft, which I do not. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's nothing up there. It's just part of the architecture. See, this looked like it was some kind of container from over there. All right, well, never mind then. I have to say, I think this was probably my favorite sun temple of the three or four that we have on the map. How many do we have on the map? We've got this one, this one, that's the haunted sun temple. We haven't done that one, you guys. We have another sun temple to do. I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, let's go do another one. Set that as the waypoint. Um, okay, hold on a sec. It's gonna be up above, I think. All right, how do we get up there? I don't, I don't know how we get up there. Um, Lame Shrine. Eldermere Dam Excavate. Oh, yeah, I remember that dam. Maybe this... Yeah, that that dark structure over there, that's the... That's the dam. Maybe the Sun Temple's down below in the Shroud. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's go. came through here once many episodes ago but we were going that direction not this direction ah yeah here we go okay So this sun temple's occupied by scavengers. guessing that we are going to have to dig through the rubble on one or both sides. Let's reactivate uh, one of you. Okay, does that go beyond 
Oh, wait a minute. No, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, and the flame altar. So we got two buttons there. Something's after me. Oh, he's on that side. Just waiting for me on the other side of the door, weren't you, buddy? So, um, we have four levers, two buttons are lit, two are not. Okay, so, let's go ahead and do the left butt lever first. Okay, let's do the right lever. Okay, so right lever, and then what about this one? Nope. This one. Okay. That was pretty lemon squeezy. That button is complete. It's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me loot that guy because he's right where you activate the door. All right, so that door is partially open. Nice explosives, man. See what's in here. Good one. That's the first time I've ever done that. the pooch. Thought I heard somebody behind me. In this room? Hit it. 
There you are. Why won't you stand in by that explosive? Guys, go over here, hit the button. Get some more explosives. Beautiful. Check this chest for yet more explosives. And I think we're done here. I just don't remember where the hell we're supposed to go. We came... We came this way, right? Yeah, through here. Okay, that opens this door. Now we can go further in. That's a little tricky to get to. Is that it? Gloom, a uh, gloom monarch chest plate, 240 health and 48 mana. Definitely a battle mage piece. That is a nice looking piece of armor, though. What did I do? Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> uh, it's not... Uh... Well, okay, this is the this is the chest piece that gives us plus five minutes of rested. Excuse me, a 48 stamina. 75-75. Uh, um... This has more physical but less magical. A lot more health and mana. I really like the look of it, but I still think this is probably the better overall piece for us. And, uh, yeah. So, we get, uh... We get, do we get set bonuses, too? Um... All attributes... Maybe we don't have set bonuses in this game. I can't remember. I thought we did. But we, we broke it by... Uh, by putting that on anyway. Alright, I guess that's the end of the road for this Sun Temple. It was pretty fun too. I still like the other one better where we had to go do all the puzzles in the different outbuildings. There's a flame shrine there that we didn't get to. A little bit of stuff in here, but probably nothing significant. Another flame shrine there we didn't get to. But I think we've done a pretty damn good job of completing this game, ladies and gentlemen. Rats rest. I remember that place. Um, If we did... leave the Sun Temple. Could we get to that other flame altar just for the purposes of completion? Um, let's just see how far this way we can go. It's like a land bridge or something up that way. I know I've been through here before. 
I think we had to come this way to get one of the final pieces for either for the blacksmith or the alchemist or somebody like that. It looks like I have Well, that's weird. When you when you're moving and you're looking at the orb, well, it just disappeared. It looks like there's two orbs. Okay, let's go around this way. Flame Shrine is way over that way. Uh, can we move through here? Have I been up here before? I think... S I think I have. It looks... Yeah, I think we've been up here once. It looks familiar anyway. Just keep moving along this pathway. Lots of sulfur up here. Okay, so the sun, uh, or I mean the altar is possibly up on this platform here. Uh, we want to go this way. The desert contains horrors. The foul creature took poor Galen right from in front of us. We stopped to rest, have some water, and good conversation on our way to market when the skies blackened with soaring beasts. Everyone says to take cover when you see a shadow swooping overhead, but there was nowhere to hide. Galen whipped out his bow, ready to hunt the things down, but they attacked from the direction of the rising sun. He was blinded and surprised and vulnerable, and then he was gone. The attack came so quickly, but I saw where the creature took Galen. Their nest is not far. Draconian Vulture. That's what those things are called. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. We want to go, I guess, up this way. Hmm. This is starting to look a little sketch. For 141 meters from the flame altar, which is probably on top of that cliff. All right, can we? Get up here. And walk up this way. Get out of here. I don't know. Let's keep going around this way, because I don't know if we can get up that steep cliff area. I feel, though, like we're kind of a little bit out in no man's land here, not following an actual intended path. But, I mean, if we can still make it happen, it doesn't matter how we get there, as long as we get there, right? Am I right? I think so. Does make me think though. Oh, that's really cool. How the light shines on the thingy over there. Neat. Um What was I saying? I don't remember. I don't remember what I was saying. Happens to me all the time. Sucks to get old. Did you eat Galen? A 
I bet you that's Galen right there. Uh, well, if Galen had two heads. Okay, flame altar. That might be Galen. Draconian Vulture Nest. So this is a new POI. I still think there's probably a more intended way to get up here. I just don't know where it was. Um, what is that structure way over there? Oh, that's the dam, right. The Elder Mir Dam, gotcha. The flame altar is 100 meters that way. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I wonder if it's like... I wonder if it's down below. Betcha it is. After all that climbing that we did. We're like 20 meters away from it. So, yeah, it's got to be at the foot of this cliff. There it is. All right. Okay, guys. Um... The Southern Caravan is the one quest that I didn't do, but I did, you know, one of you guys did tell me in the comments that it was bugged somehow, and I don't understand how. So, we're going to let that one go. Uh, this is definitely not the last time I'm going to be playing this game. Uh, and I do have the multiplayer ser player series going. Um, so, we play on Friday evenings and Sunday afternoons, so I usually have two uh, episodes a week on that so we will continue playing in shrouded uh, through the multiplayer and we'll see you know what happens with single player um my my current plan i'm okay here here's what i'm doing and what i'm thinking about okay i'm thinking about two doing two things either a wait for um uh wait for them to come out with another significant update um, and I had, you know, th they do have the roadmap out now. Um, or the other thing I've been thinking about maybe doing is starting a, a season two single player um, and just doing a, a whole different build. Because our build primarily in this series was was archer ranged uh, with a little bit of melee. So really kind of the two options that I would try are either two-handed which I know a lot of people don't like but I'd like to see you know if, if we could make a, a go of it or maybe do a magic build now I am doing a magic build in the multiplayer series but the the thing about that is that I have people with me um, and so you know we've got tanks tanks and healers and stuff and I would really like to to see if I can make a go of it with, you know, with a magic build solo. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty squishy in the, in the multiplayer game and, and uh, need, need a lot of protection. Or I should say I rely up upon them for that protection. And I'd like to see, you know, what it's like to play without that, you know, with, with just solo. So those are some things that I'm thinking about. I haven't decided for sure what I'm going to do, but, um, we will, you know, we'll figure it out. And in the meantime, like I said, we will definitely keep the multiplayer player series going for, you know, however long it goes for. And uh, go from there. I think what I want to do is let's come get out to the front of the house here. And this will be... Our final screenshot of this series, uh, Hide the HUD. Except for that I'm kind of in the dark a little bit, huh? I just like, I like the look of the, the base, though. 
in the background at nighttime. I'm, <laughs> I'm like sitting way down in the grass here. Um, if we were to... Yeah, that's a little bit too much up in my face. Well, let's try that one too. That one might not be too bad. Okay, very good. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, both this episode and this entire series. I really, really enjoyed myself, you know, playing this game. And like I said, we have more, more to come for sure. And uh, so with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. If you're interested in uh, coming and hanging out with the community, we have an awesome community. Um, so check out our Discord. You can find the link to that in the About section of the YouTube channel. And just a quick shameless plug here, if you're interested in supporting the channel uh, in a more tangible way, hit that Join button, and it'll give you uh, some options for different tiers of uh, YouTube membership uh, that I have. We've got a lot of good people already uh, helping to support the channel, and I really appreciate it. And you get some perks, um, you know, like priority and gameplay and some time you can spend uh, with me in Discord and some other fun stuff like that. So check it out if you're interested. And with that being said, we'll catch you guys later on. Bye-bye.